everybody and welcome to another Jurassic World Evolution 2 video and for today's we're going to be looking at a few things. One, we're going to be discussing mainly the species field guide for Amargosaurus, the newest one, and we're going to be talking about a little bit of um, some of the news that have been coming out over the week because I have not been covering them because while I was busy with them, graduating and stuff, so I had a lot on my plate, so please forgive me for not doing those. But anyway, anyway, just before we begin, I want to remind you guys to also hit the subscribe button, all that stuff. I'll leave a like, because it'll help expand the channel. But with that, I say we begin. So first, we're going to look at the Species f Field Guide of Amargosaurus. <laughs> Amargosaurus, one of the smaller members of the sauropods, continues to draw amazement thanks to its astonishing spinal spikes. These neural spines have been hypothesized as having many uses, but research is still ongoing. It has a few little things that um, are important. For one, um, we get to see some of the different skins for the Amargosaurus. Well, I think we get to see three diff very different ones, but they all have the same pattern. Now, we'll talk about that in a second. We see a brown one, which we've seen before, except this one's a little bit different than the one we usually have seen. And we've seen a green one and a sort of dark charcoal looking one, which I do want to inform you guys that all of them have the same sort of skin pattern with um, a nice little stripe with spots around it. Now, compared to the first image of Amargosaurus that we see, which was just um, brown with no spots or anything, this is um, important because um, in an article that was done for 30 minutes of gameplay, I can't remember who the article was from, but it was mentioned in there that um, for Evolution 2 we will be getting 12 s skin colors and also 7 skin patterns, which is huge compared to what we had for the first Evolution game, which, not including um, Return to Jurassic Park skins, the maximum a dinosaur could have was six skins and only two patterns, like for example with our Acrocanthosaurus, which will be returning for the sequel game, it has been confirmed as well. Um, Acro had um, two patterns, one was um, mainly for vivid um, jungle and wetland, I believe, and it was like sort of um, bright and very um, crazy looking, and the other pattern was more smooth and um, calm and dull. However, for this, we've already seen two pa skin patterns for Margosaurus and the different colors that they come in, which is really good to see. And we also get to see um, it's compared to a Brachiosaurus, which we can see that a Margosaurus is like Nigosaurus, very tiny. Although, unlike with Nigosaurus, it looks like Amargosaurus can defend itself somewhat with those spikes. Another thing I do want to mention, which is um, the Brachiosaurus itself. While we haven't gotten a field guide for it, yet we have seen that it is eating off the trees, which we know that in an, art in an article, um, it was mentioned that dinosaurs will no longer be eating from feeders, but they will be eating from some plants that you can put on the ground. However, with those um, plants that you'll be giving for the dinosaurs food, Frontier has confirmed in a live stream that they just did, I think, depending on when I upload this video, it could be the same day or the day before, they confirmed that this means these plants will actually be paleobotany plants, which, yes, we have confirmation that paleobotany is coming to the sequel game since it was very popular with um, Jurassic World Evolution when it came with Claire Sanctuary. And and this is really good, because I, I was wondering what things were going to be brought from the game like that were used in DLCs. Like, are we going to be getting anything else from Claire Sanctuary, like some of the dinosaurs from that, like Aranosaurus or Albertosaurus? Are we going to get those ones, or are we just not going to get too much stuff? Now, with that out of the way, I do want to talk about the biggest thing for the trailer, which has been shown off in um, an article as well and the live stream. It is that the hatchery can actually release more than one dinosaur at 
the same time, which we see in the trailer at the very beginning of it when we see two of the Amargosaurus coming out at the same time from the hatchery, which in an article that was released, I think last week, um, it was mentioned that um, for the hatcheries, instead of breeding one dinosaur, you'll be able to make a clutch of eggs. However, it'll be very different with um, you being able to um, synthesize them and like change their genetic codes. However, when you make a clutch of them, there will be some that don't have all the traits that you wanted and then you get to choose which ones you want to grow, which is going to be really cool. I also heard about um, that you'll be able to transport um, dinosaurs from the hatchery as soon as they're done. So like you won't have to build a giant enclosure connected by one small enclosure with gates going to each of them. Now you can just um, have one hatchery and then like instantly when a dinosaur is done, you can have it transported all the way to whatever enclosure you need to, which is going to be really nice for the game. Now, there isn't too much else to go into the species field guide. It's a nice little field guide to see a Margosaurus. I was personally hoping for something like a pterosaur or an aquatic reptile, but probably they're just waiting a little bit more until we get closer to their real least because it makes sense building up the excitement for them it's understandable but i do like the amargosaurus i'm really glad to see it although i do wonder if it will be able to defend itself against um predators i mean look at it you see that spiked neck and you're like don this is gonna have a tough time with this one even if it is a small sauropod but anyway guys what do you think about this are you excited about Jurassic World Evolution 2, even more with this bit of news and this field guide. And what do you think of the Amargosaurus? I think it's a pretty cute dinosaur, but then, ooh, ah, that's how it always starts. And then later, there's the running and screaming. We all know how it goes. Just ask Ian Malcolm. But, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate the like. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. And if you want to hear any more news about Evolution 2, Jurassic World Dominion, or Camp Cretaceous, or anything else that comes up, leave a like and subscribe, of course, to help expand the channel so we can continue this. Be safe, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye!